Previously on my extreme condo makeover. So my condo got flooded once. <laughs> and there's water coming from your unit. And then for a second time. My condo got flooded again. Literally all of the flooring is gone. The neighbors who flooded my are home. But we got it fixed. We have floor again. New development and the adventure continues. Welcome to the condo. Look at how clean everything is. I'm not sure what order these videos are going up. It might be kind of like out of chronological order, but currently we have flooring, which is amazing. The contractors still have to clear out a bunch of stuff, but today I'm going to be working on the bedroom because I'm setting up some exciting stuff. I feel like this might not make sense, like timeline wise, cause it's like, why wouldn't you just wait until everything's finished to put stuff into the bedroom? So as you know, there have been a bunch of delays with the contractors and floodings and all the natural disasters. So I had ordered a bed frame, mattress, all my bedding like a long time ago. And so it's just sitting in the storage closet and it's been there for like a month or more. Some things have been here for a couple months, like my bed frame. And the issue is that I spend a lot of time in downtown Vancouver, which is where my condo is. And I don't live in downtown Vancouver. So when I do come here, sometimes I'll like come here to like put my stuff down. But a lot of the times I'll come on days that I'm really tired and I'm like, oh, I really want to take a nap, but I have no furniture. So what I have been doing, which is kind of like, kind of musty behavior is I have been napping on the sofa in the lobby like a squatter. It looks like I have no home. So that has not been ideal. And I'm like, I literally have a mattress and I have a bed frame in my condo. I just like haven't unpacked it because the condo is not completely finished. It's like so close to being completed, but I figured I would set up my little bed bedroom space so that I actually can have a space to nap on days when I come down here. And also sometimes when I go out, go out on the town on Saturday nights, I have a place to crash if I so choose. So that is my logic. So this is not an official move in vlog. I'm gonna call this like preparing to move in because I'm making preparations. You know, I also brought my parents along with me. We're all checking out the space and we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning and they're gonna help me set up my bed frame and bedding and all that kind of stuff. And it'll be a fun family activity. It's kind of like them sending off, sending me off to college because they never sent me off to college. So we're making up for lost time and last memories. Let's go. Hello, welcome to my floor. It's time for some exciting unboxings. So I have a bunch of boxes to unbox all related to bedding with the bed frame, the mattress, and we have my bedding. I wanna say a huge thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. By the way, Brooklinen is having their biggest sale of the year for Black Friday until November 30th, and you can get 20% off of all Brooklinen products using my link below. I'm so excited to unbox this. This is probably my, it's kind of embarrassing how excited you get about homeware as you get older. Actually, no embarrassment, no shame, because I am in my domestic era. I'm really excited to be working with them because I use Brooklinen sheets and pillowcases at home. And I have been a fan of them for years. Ever since my sister gave me a set of their pillowcases for Christmas, I've been obsessed. And so the fact that I'm working with them is so exciting to me. Ta-da! Oh my God, I'm so excited. It looks so beautiful. Okay, so first of all, I have these Lux pillowcases. There's two of them in here in the macadamia tan color because the rest of my bedding is, can you guess what color? I guess you already saw a little bit of her earlier, but it's this like super nice white off-white cream color. I want my body inside of this right now. This is the core sheet set in the Lux. It's a, uh, it comes with one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, two pillowcases. So that's that. And then we have the duvet cover also in the Lux edition. The color of this is cream and um, they're all in queen size because I'm a queen. You will see me put these 
onto the bed in a bit. But I love Brooklinen because quality bedding is really expensive, but they give you the quality at an affordable price. And their philosophy is that everybody deserves a luxurious night of sleep without the luxury markup, which I love because sleep is so important. As we know, I don't get enough of it. It's super easy to shop online. There are over 90,000 five-star reviews, which is more than any other online bedding company. And you can mix and match 20 plus different colors and patterns for the classic or luxe core sets, duvet covers, pillowcases, all that kind of stuff. But before I can put these on to anything, I have to actually unbox the rest of my bedding first. So. Let's do that. All right, currently this is what the room is looking like. It is finally empty. My parents thankfully cleaned the floors. They look amazing. And now we are all going to build some furniture together. This is the first space that I'm like domesticating. Is that the correct term? Anyway, this is my bed frame that I got like two months ago that has just been sitting here. I don't even really remember what I got. So hopefully it looks good, but let's Put it together. Whoa. Oh my God. Wait, I totally forgot this is what I ordered. Hell yeah. But you want to help? Does anyone want to help me? Okay. This is the headboard. Hello. I think it's gonna match really well with the bedding. Like this cream color. I love the tufting. Oh! Honestly, it is kind of a vibe to order your stuff, not unbox it for two months, forget about what you got, and then be surprised that you actually had good taste. So, I'm just trying to make the most out of the delays and trying to make myself feel better, to be honest. I'm sweating. Guys, I have a bed frame. It looks so good. We're just gonna move it against the wall now. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, there is like a little bit, there's enough walking space here, which is good. Ah! I'm so excited. It looks so good. All right, now it is time to unbox the mattress. I got one of those mattress in a box things because that's what I had when I lived in LA. I've kind of always grown up with a spring mattress, but it's, it's really firm. And growing up in an Asian household, that is what the only mattress that I was allowed to sleep on for apparently it's better for your back. Don't know if it's actually true, but I'm gonna trust it. But now that I am a fully fledged adult, I will be making decisions that maybe are not good for my spine because they feel good. So, let's unbox the mattress. kind of like hitting me right now. I'm looking out the window, I turn off the umbrella lights, and this is my view from bed. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Hello. Here are my Brooklinen bedding pieces that I am going to put on the mattress. I'm going to have a mental breakdown. I am so happy right now. I turned off the lights and I just like was looking outside and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna live here. <laughs> so, that's what's up. Also, this is kind of <clears throat> an impulsive idea, but there is a hockey game. So I live downtown, like really close to where the hockey stadium is. And I'm like, should I go buy tickets to watch the game in like an hour? 
because my parents have a dinner that they just went to and I'm like, I'm already here and I want to celebrate me? Do I want to pay $200? I don't know. This is a TBD. This is TBD. Ah! Maybe I'll just take myself out to dinner. Maybe I'll do that instead. But so instead of buying all the items individually, you can save 25% by getting the hardcore sheet bundle set, which comes with the core sheet set, the duvet cover, and extra pillowcases. This is so soft. The color is so good. It matches so well. Wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> So good, but finally we have the different colored pillows. These actually match really well with the headboard, I feel. So I'm excited. Count how many times I said excited in this video. I just want to be buried in these. So beautiful. All right. Let's make the bed. Guys? Here's my new bed. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't tell if I wanna do the tan one in the front or the back. I feel like for now in the front, but I can always swap it out. They have so many different colors and patterns, but I actually just ordered some food cause I'm so hungry. It's like dinner time, but I kinda wanna take a nap before I eat because I just, I'm tired and I also just wanna sleep in here. So let me get into the sheets. I have never felt so happy in my entire life, or at least in a long time. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall asleep. These are so comfortable. I literally look like I'm at home. I'm, this is my home. I mean, this is my home. What am I saying? This is literally my home. I also <laughs> got the wrong size pillow. So this is kind of like wimpy looking. So I definitely need to get a new pillow, but they're so soft. I so highly recommend Brooklinen. It's crazy. It's my favorite favorite bedding ever. Their best-selling Luxe Sateen bed sheets are literally a game changer. They're so soft, buttery smooth, and they're perfect for elevating your bedding. These have a luxurious 480 thread count and it has like a slightly luminous sheen. So I can't wait to see these in the daytime. So sateen is usually more tightly woven and heavier in weight than percale, which makes it warmer and so soft. And it's ideal for a year round comfort. And I literally am going to fall asleep. I am so happy. Anyway, me and Brooklinen are besties. Good night. Good morning. It's like an hour later. I fell asleep so fast. I'm telling you, these bed sheets are amazing. But my food is here, so I have to go get it. But I don't want to leave my bed. It's so comfortable. I can't wait for it to be all furnished and like when I can spend my first night here and like actually live here with all my stuff. That will be so exciting. We'll definitely make a whole video of it. But okay, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna get food. I'm gonna get food. I'm back home. It was raining up pretty bad outside, so I got drenched, but I have my food <laughs> right here and I have 
this is my setup. We don't have any other furniture other than a bed and I'm not about to eat on my fresh new sheets. So I'm gonna stay close to the ground and uh, I'm gonna watch the hockey game. I decided not to go cause I just don't think I'm gonna make it. Slash is already going on. So let's do a little food haul, shall we? Also, I do have another exciting thing that I need to unbox and set up later, but I'm gonna have dinner break first. This is my favorite taco place in Vancouver, but I think there's actually a lot of Mexican restaurants in downtown Vancouver in my area that I haven't tried yet. So I'm so excited because Mexican cuisine is like top three cuisines of all time for me. This is not what I got. I did not, wait, they gave me tater tots, which I did not order, but it's a welcome surprise. I don't know if they just like got my order wrong or something. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I hope I didn't take someone else's order by accident. I'm really confused. Here's my soup. I'm so excited for this. I'm so cold. I've been craving soup for so many days. Hell yeah. Oh my God, it's steaming. That's so good. Oh my God. I'm so excited. <gasps> Not me spilling the soup on my jeans. This is what happens when you don't have real furniture. And then I have a bowl. No, this is not happening to me right now. No, 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 I literally refuse to believe it. They didn't give me utensils. No, I literally, <gasps> wait, this looks so good. But I don't have utensils. But this is a tempura prawn bowl. It's supposed to be a burrito, but I made it into a bowl. Here's what I'm gonna do. They gave me these chips for the soup, but I'm gonna just use it like a spoon because I just need to eat. I'm so hungry. Oh my God. I'm just gonna keep eating using this until it gets too soggy. I'll switch to another piece. This is such squatter energy, but I kind of really like the, um, when you first move into a place and you don't really have furniture. It's like, cause this period only lasts for what, a couple days, a couple weeks. And like the energy is so chaotic and I kind of love it. I'm vibing so hard right now. Let's try the tater tots that I didn't know that I was gonna get. I feel like a mukbang. <coughs> That's spicy. Oh, wait, that's so good. Oh my God. The name of the place is called Taco Fino, by the way. I feel like if you live in Vancouver, you know it's a classic. Oh, I definitely feel like a mukbanger right now. Dude, I'm just thinking that if I'm like so happy right now with just a bed and like I haven't actually officially moved in yet, imagine the amount of serotonin that I'll have once I actually move in. I think my brain's gonna explode. Like, I don't know if I'm, meant to be that happy. And I think that all the floodings and stuff have just been to keep me humble and grounded because the second that I'm able to live here, I think I'm gonna be like unstoppable. I'll catch you back when I'm finished watching the game and we can set up the last exciting part of the room. Okay, hello, welcome back. We won the game, so happy about it. Would have been even more fun in person, but now that I'm living downtown, I guess I can go way more often. Anyway, I am just having fun fantasizing about the future. But let me open the exciting new addition. I got a sunset lamp. Ah! I'm so excited because this room doesn't have any lighting in it. So I obviously needed to get like a lamp or some kind of lighting. I did get an actual lamp for this corner over here and then I'll also get like a bedside lamp for the nightstand, but I've always wanted a sunset lamp. This one has like a bunch of different color functions and I just thought it would be very versatile and like I think especially in the winter months, I just have been craving some sunsets that I am not able to get in the winter months. Is it winter yet? Let's just say colder months. I just will say the seasonal depression is so real, it's crazy. Okay, interesting. Okay, it's like this glass sphere and it is very prismatic. It's very small, but let's set it up. I am thinking I'm just gonna put it over here so that it reflects onto the bed for the ultimate vibes. Okay, they don't give you like the charging head, but I think I did bring one. Okay, I just got the app and, um, okay, let's turn it on. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at how vibey this is. Oh, hell yeah. This is everything that I've ever wanted. 
Hello. Oh, wow. Oh my God, imagine the party. Oh my God, oh my God, rager time, rager time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway, that is my pre-moving in slash kind of half moving in vlog. Like I said, I just wanted to set up my bedroom for napping purposes. Honestly, that is... <laughs> That's kind of the only reason why I need this setup. The rest of the condo is kind of almost finished, but it's a lot of like little things that still need to be done that take deceptively a long time. It's like filling in some of the floor gaps, changing out the light switches, the power outlets, cleaning, adding baseboards, all those little things that need to be done. Like you think it's it, like all the big parts are done, but there's a bunch of small things that still need to be done. But I'm excited to have a livable space in here. I technically could live here now. I have a bed, I have a working bathroom. So yeah, thanks for following along. Thank you again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this video. And reminder that their biggest sale of the year is happening right now for Black Friday until November 30th. So make sure to click my link below to get 20% off of all Brooklyn products. Hopefully the next time that I check in, things will be finished, but TBD. Thanks for following along, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!